it's the last, last, last final day of the school year. At, I mean, it was the last day for students, I think, last Tuesday, final exams. Uh, but today is the last day for teachers. I mean, some people might come in tomorrow, but that's their prerogative. But officially, it is our last day today. Hi. I'm Madame La Prof, and welcome back to the Teacher's Wake Up Call. And I, I did say in my last video, or one of my last videos, I can't remember, that I, I wasn't going to be taking a break, that I'm still going to be creating content, because there's always something to be said when it comes to teaching and education and, well, the life of Madame La Prof. There will always be something to say. And I actually wanted to take the time to film the inside of the student council room which I know I didn't share any pictures, but this space was a disaster area last year. Uh, this time last year, like I, I couldn't, I couldn't walk freely. I couldn't walk freely. Yes, yes, that is a popcorn machine because we use it for events. And although it is still, there's still some improvement that can be done. This is oh, way better leaps and bounds um, above what what it was last year at this time last year so uh so i've got some things to say i've got i don't have my tripod so i'm i'm hand holding the camera because i feel like it mm. oh oh that's good coffee that's good coffee okay so you know end of year means you know meetings chit chats with you know teachers about how the school year went and whatnot and um one thing that i found really interesting was oh, I'm, like I'm, i don't know my hair is kind of like in a mood today so i decided to put this so a colleague of mine during a meeting mentioned that one of the things that we need to work on as a staff, as a team, and and I can't disagree with with that colleague and and any of my colleagues for that matter when it comes to hallway supervision, hallway monitoring, um, you know, during recess, during lunch times, there is there is a lot that needs to be done. And there was something that my colleague said that kind of made me think, not, let me be clear, I wasn't in disagreement when they mentioned that, but my brain kind of like glitched for a moment. And I said, well, how are they supposed to be? Because my colleague said in the hallways, Students need to behave like students and not like, and there was the proverbial dot, dot, dot. I mean, fill in the blank with whichever, you know, term you want to use, adjective, qualitative term. Um, but pretty much, uh, I knew where she was going. And I, I agree with her. Oh, my God, I agree with her. I agree with her um, because it was... Um, it was something that I noticed a lot as well this year. But then it made me think. <sighs> during lunchtime, during recess, are students expected to behave as we were to expect them to behave in classroom? Or is it their time to disconnect, to be themselves, to uh, relax, decompress. You know, you had an intense math class. You had an intense, an intense, um, you know, French class, English class, science class, history class. Do you still want those students to be like in in full student mode, or can we allow them to disconnect a bit now? I wholeheartedly agree that there's 
disconnecting, there's decompressing, and then there's behaving like, you know, civil people. And, and I think that's where my colleague was trying to go. But at the same time, it, it kind of makes you wonder or think about the expectations we have towards our students and how we would like them to behave. First of all, it is, it's never the same from one teacher to another. And the bigger the team, the greater the differences of definition. We can all say we all strive for the same, with, like, towards the same goal. Uh, we all have the same values. But even then, we are going to have different, different, I don't want to say approaches, but different perspectives. And like, I'm going to be okay with students talking in the class while they're doing work, provided they do their work. But I know for a fact that there are some teachers who don't do that, who don't want that. They want to be able to hear a pin drop. Ugh. Um... So, I, so there, therein lies the challenge. What do we consider appropriate, and I'm using air quotes, student-like behavior in the hallways while allowing them that time between classes, at lunch, to disconnect, to decompress, and to be kids? And knowing and accepting and understanding that there's a difference between acting savage-like <laughs> and, and acting like kids who need that time to disconnect. Just like we don't expect teachers to be on all the time. Teachers insist to have that lunch break and no one can argue with that. Can we do the same thing for our students? Hmm? And in that case, what are we willing to tolerate as, as acceptable behavior? And maybe, maybe we need to shift the, the, the conversation. Instead of saying, we shouldn't see this, maybe we need to ask, what are we willing to accept? I don't know. So those are my thoughts on my final day at school today in the student council room Woo. fridge freezer this is a space this is a space where the magic happens or the chaos maybe it's the same thing on that lovely note folks have yourselves a lovely lovely day